All right, guys. Well, I guess I can say it's great to be back, although I'm not quite back. I don't, when can I get back on Humpty Dumpty Drive for my committing my last sin? How long ago has it been? I think it's been a week tomorrow that I can get back out of YouTube jail. So, uh, here we are. Uh, it is a Sunday night. Y you know, something about a fucking Sunday night in the rain in an empty laundromat in some, you know, little uh, post-industrial hellhole. Uh, <laughs> you know, if you just really want to, if you if you really want to get fucking depressed and just feel like you're the last person on the planet and just want to fucking slit your fucking wrist, I highly recommend an empty laundromat on a rainy Sunday night bringing another weekend to a close. I guess it's, what is today? It is Sunday. It is June 20th, 2021, the last day of spring as we head into the summer of 2021 tomorrow. I've been reflecting back on the spring of 2021. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, What a, what a rocket ride uh, in the spring of 2021. Uh, where the fuck was I on the first day of spring on March 21st, I believe, where I was. I think I was in Key West, Florida, as I recall, on the, uh, on the spring equinox. That was three months ago that I was down there in Key West. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that was the first <clears throat> day of spring. I mean, three months ago, it seems like a fucking lifetime. Uh, where in the fuck? Uh, it, it seems like years ago, it, 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 a, a completely different fucking life three months ago from March uh, 20th to June 20th, 2021, down there, you know, living in fucking uh, the hellhole of Inverness, Florida. Uh, I never have really told the fucking story of what went down there. So I might as well tell you now, for those of you who have not figured it out, uh... To make a three-hour story, I'm, I'm here doing my laundry, so I've got 25 minutes to kill, so I'm just going to sit here and ramble for 25 fucking minutes. Any of you are uh, welcome to uh, hang around. So what went down in Florida with uh, that fucking hip camp and that kitchen and everything and that crazy neighbor? Uh, you, you know, so I was living down there for the winter, you know, being a snowbird living in, in my little camper, the USS Maggie May, I was living down there, uh, technically living in the Maggie May, and running this hip camp, that crazy neighbor of mine, uh, the, the absolute psycho bitch from hell, one of the nastiest human beings on the planet, that I made this deal with the devil, where... <laughs> we were running that hip camp together, and everything on that property was illegal. Everything about the property was illegal. It was built without permits, but a lot more than building the buildings without permits is I was using her septic system that when you flushed the toilet at my hip camp on my property, your damn shit 
left my toilet, crossed the property line, and went in to Lulu's septic tank. So I was using her septic system, I was using her water, the completely illegal electricity uh, running the kitchen and my camper, absolutely illegal, unpermitted, was coming off of her panel box. Uh, it, it is illegal to live on, you know, in a in a camper down there on a vacant lot. I mean, every fucking thing about that place was illegal, and and I knew it was only a matter of time uh, before we got busted. So I left out of there on uh, Monday. That would have been. April, I think it uh, was April. Anyway, I left out there on, on a Monday morning, which I think was April 24th, somewhere around there. But anyway, that Friday, uh, the last Friday in April, we got raided by the county and shut down. Uh, red tag, shut down. Thank God I had pulled the fucking Maggie Mae out of there. So they saw, they did not see me. I was not, at least I was not living there illegally in that goddamn camper wired up to my next door neighbor's house. Thank God for that. That's a $250 per day fine. But anyway, the long and short of it is, is obviously they made me rip down the hip camp bathroom that the bathroom was completely demolished, you know, the toilet and the shower and the sink. Obviously, I had to uh, disconnect that illegal line. Uh, so now, uh, I, you know, I have no bathroom. I have no uh, septic. I have no water. I, of course, I was using her water, so I lost all of my plumbing. Uh, so the hip camp and I lost all of my fucking plumbing, my septic, everything. Obviously, they made us rip uh, the wiring out of there. So I have no electricity, and with no electricity, uh, also included in that is the uh, is the internet. I have I have no water, no septic, no power, no internet, and then the, the buildings themselves, which are built without permits, were of course red tagged. And right off the bat, since I didn't pay my $5,000 environmental impact fee, you're all, you cannot see, so right off, so now I have a $5,000 dollar fine and pretty much uh, the order is to tear the buildings down. I have to uh, tear down the whole fucking everything there. Uh, I, I am completely fucked and, and, and essentially what happened is the property is unlivable without spending. You, you know, I would have to put in a fucking uh, uh, twelve to fifteen thousand dollar septic system. Drill a fucking well. Bring power in. Get all of these goddamn permits. Pay that five thousand dollar fee. All those goddamn fines. You know where before I ever spent one dollar on building a fucking house down there, uh, I would be into it over thirty thousand fucking dollars. That ain't gonna happen. I don't have fucking thirty thousand dollars, even if I had and got my fucking silver ripped off. So I cannot move back down there. So essentially that property is worthless for me. So I need to sell the property, but the next door neighbor is not going to let anybody buy it. She is just going to keep any buyer from buying it. So I have an unsellable unlivable piece of property. I have $35,000 fucking dollars, $35,000 sunk into that fucking place to this white elephant. I cannot live on it, and I cannot sell it. 
So I'm I'm literally sitting around waiting for Lulu to A, to die, uh, which could happen, B, to get thrown in jail. I need that bitch to get thrown in jail for about for 90 days to get down there and sell that property or, you know, to get foreclosed on and lose her house. Uh, which I'm hoping is that she will get foreclosed on and kicked out of her house. And then anyone who buys her house will want to buy my property. But anyway, I am completely, totally fucked. So that is the story on the place. And uh, so anyway, the, the hip camp was actually going pretty nicely down there. It, it, you know, it was up and running, and we were making money and everything. And now, of course, the fucking hip camp, well, needless to say, there's no more hip camp uh, going on in Florida. So I'm not making one penny off of that property. I am I'm paying taxes. I'm looking at thousands of dollars in fines. I'm in this big fucking legal mess. I can't sell the place. I can't fucking live there. Uh, this, this is, uh, you, you know, an absolute fucking, uh, it, it, it's a monumental fuck up, uh, almost as bad as the silver debacle, getting my silver ripped off, which, but the silver was probably worth $50,000 in this land. Now, eventually, guys, obviously, eventually, I'm going to sell that fucking piece of land. And the price of waterfront property in Florida is going nowhere but up, up, up. So I'm just going to sit there and fucking ignore it for the next few years and uh, hope that bitch uh, either dies, gets kicked out of her house, or gets thrown in jail so I can run down there and uh, push that place off on somebody else. So here I am. I have no fucking clue. No fucking clue what I am doing with myself, uh, you know, when wintertime blows in up here uh, in, in, in New York. Uh, I have no fucking clue what, what I'm doing. I mean, I still have the USS Maggie May, so I guess Sancho and I are just going to hop in the fucking truck with our little camper and uh, go bopping around, uh, you know, camping and visiting folks and whatnot. I have no fucking idea what my life holds between now and November. And so anyway, so I've been up here uh, busting my fucking ass up here. That Rob and Alistair and I, uh, we have been busting our fucking ass uh, up here at this uh, goddamn place uh, in New York. It looks beautiful. Looks absolutely, uh, looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, we have someone else in the laundromat. Um, but the hip camp is a fucking joke. Uh, we have had so far one person, literally one human being uh, at this goddamn hip camp uh, it opened on Memorial Day weekend. One person was here. We have a couple coming in on Friday. And, of course, what happened today is the, uh, is the uh, pump on the septic uh, tank. I've got one of these above-ground leech lines, and the fucking pump... Uh, went out on the goddamn septic tank, so now we can't flush our goddamn toilet. We have no toilet in the fucking house, uh, and I have uh, hip campers coming in on Friday. Uh, Jesus fucking Christ, so I can't take a shit in my own goddamn house, and uh, and I think we all know the Dulcinea story, which is uh, completely, it's just, it's just unfucking believable. It is now June 20th uh, that I've been uh, dealing with, you know, with this shit, uh, which is a hell of a lot of a bigger 
tragedy, in, in my opinion. It, it's unbelievable. You, you would fucking think, guys, that all of this shit that went down in Florida with, with, with all of this goddamn legal mess I'm in, 35,000 fucking dollars wrapped up in this fucking hole, not having any fucking clue what I'm doing with my life, uh, with all of that going on and, and churning in my fucking brain, and, and everything that I have to do up here, as much as I have to do, uh, at, at this property, you would think getting ghosted by, by some flibberty gibbet that I met on YouTube two years ago and, and have literally been, uh, literally been in the company of for about 10 hours of my entire life getting fucking ghosted by this woman, uh, w w would just be, you know, would just be a bad hair day, but it's completely fucking, uh, consumed my life. But at least Dulcinea has somewhat gotten my mind off of all of this shit, all of this other shit going on in my life. You know, the one fucking thing that, uh, that, that, that I wanted to, you know, to turn out, the one fucking thing that I wanted to turn out, you know, that this lion sack of shit had given me this fucking line of bullshit, uh, how, how much she's in love with me, <laughs> how obsessed she is with me, and how fucking in love she is with me, and is gonna be my fucking doomer chick forever, and all of this shit, Supposed to move in here three fucking weeks ago, this woman was supposed to be here, and she just fucked me over. Just fucked me over. Just ghosted me. Just fucking ghosted me. We're sitting here talking one day. Uh, she's supposed to be there in nine days. Everything is fucking fine, and, and then not a goddamn word. And uh, then she, then she, uh, what, she ghosts me on Sunday, she calls, leaves a message on my answering machine, on my fucking answering machine, uh, four days before she's supposed to get there, uh, get here, uh, to join me, to be my doomer chick for life, saying, I'm just calling to tell you, I still love you. For what that's worth, that's the last words I heard from that woman, was for what it's worth. And she's listened to every one of these fucking Dulcinea videos. So she didn't even comment uh, on my, uh, she's never commented on one of these Dulcinea videos. Never fucking commented. She has left one word on all of my fucking rants I have done in June 1st before getting ripped down. She left a one-word comment on uh, one of my videos, probably the only video that was not about her, and her comment was climbing. Climbing was her. She has said one fucking word to me uh, since June 1st, and that is climbing. My response to her comment was sinking. So I'm sure you can find that comment somewhere out there, although now that she's listening to this, she's probably yanking down her fucking one-word comment for the few of you who do, who do not know who this woman is. But of course, uh, of course, I am still clinging uh, to this fucking ridiculous hope that she's going to change her mind and show up here uh, with, with her goddamn, uh, what's not bipolar, borderline personality, that she's gonna wake up one fucking day, and her goddamn borderline personality is gonna flip her into another dissociative state, uh, and she'll flip into some other personality, and on some wild fucking hair, uh, will show up, uh, at Bugs in a Jar Farm to be my doomer chick forever. And, uh, darling, I know you're listening to this, and of course you're still invited, because I'm a fucking fool. The fool is my card. I, you know, I follow the path with heart, and to this very bitter minute, 
Uh, I am suffering some delusion because I've never heard from you otherwise that you're not still in love with me. I honestly believe that in this woman's heart, she wants to be here. I don't know why she could be sitting here in front of this fucking depressing-ass laundromat on this rainy Sunday night if she were here instead of living in some uh, nice suburban home. Uh, you know what I'm saying. She's probably out having a very nice dinner at some expensive fucking restaurant because she's got a fucking washer and dryer in her own goddamn house. Dulcinea has not set foot. I guarantee you this girl has not set foot in a fucking laundromat. I don't know if Dulcinea, she's 49 fucking years old. I, Dulcinea, have you ever set foot in a fucking laundromat since the day you were born? Uh, my guess is Dulcinea would have no idea where the fucking coin slot was. Uh, I am pretty sure this woman is uh, used to being... Uh, you know, a, a, a lifestyle that does not include uh, laundromats. I'm taking a wild guess, and that is just one of the reasons that she is not at this laundromat, because she has her own fucking uh, washer and dryer in her own laundry room in, in her beautiful suburban home. <laughs> Ah, uh, fuck. So anyway, that was my springtime of uh, springtime 2021. So tomorrow, the first day of summer, we are looking at 89 degrees. 89 degrees on the first day of summer, the second day of summer, the high is 62 degrees. So, uh, I don't know whether I'm going to get out and enjoy the 89 degree, 89 percent humidity first day of summer in New York, baby, or not, but uh, I highly suggest you do, and I think I think that I'm back on the air officially on uh, Tuesday, just in case uh, any of you don't know what happened with that, is uh, of course I got yanked down uh, for spreading medical misinformation by my uh, rant, uh, NPR starting to sound a lot like Humpty Dumpty Tribe. What I did is I went on and repeated uh, a couple of stories that NPR had run that day and was yanked down and accused of spreading medical uh, misinformation by repeating two stories from NPR. That is that mystery, but I've got clothes, I'm assuming, that need to head into the fucking dryer, so I'm going to take my goddamn drink into the laundromat and maybe this woman in here this uh with the bmi of about 32 wants to be my fucking doomer chick forever because she's not too self-important to show up at a fucking laundromat doing her goddamn clothes so i'm gonna go meet the new love of my life uh she looks like she's about 55 years old if she would drop about 30 fucking pounds. Can't read what her t-shirt says. It probably says uh, Earth First or uh, Extinction Rebellion. What does your t-shirt say, darling? Anyway, I'm gonna go flirt with this fucking tub of lard who at least is uh, not too self-important where she can't go to a fucking laundromat by herself on a rainy Sunday night. Just the two of us. Wish me luck, guys. My new Dulcinea. Thar she blows. Isn't that what you say when you see a whale? Thar she blows. Bye, guys.